I'm always depressed, all the time. It's like a sledgehammer to the legs. It's just mm -hmm. really hard to get out of bed. Were you ever suicidal? Yeah, all the time. I had a really rough time in high school, so like I still have like PTSD from that shit. But you used to get teased in high school or something? Oh, all the time. It was so confusing. Uh, Cause like my dad just died. So like you would think like they'd be like fake nice, but not in Staten Island. They don't, give, they don't give a shit down there. I always thought there was something wrong with me my whole entire life. I was like, I have no friends. <laughs> You know, I've been to like three different schools. Everybody hates me, so it has to be me. And then I left Staten Island, and I was like, it was literally everybody else. It's like fear of, of abandonment. Like, I'm gonna lose my friends, I'm right. gonna lose my girlfriend, like my family hates me, and I would always just like mm. be all around and be worried all the time, and I'd be freaking out. Depression affects more than like 16 million people in this country, and there's no like cure per se, but for anyone dealing with it, there are treatments that can help. First of all, if you think you're depressed, you know, see a doctor and talk to them about medication and also be healthy. Eating right and exercise can make a huge difference. How often do you still battle with depression? Oh, I'm always depressed, all the time. Um, I have to constantly bring myself out of it. Like, I wake up depressed, but like, I'm like, okay, now I know my steps, because like, you learn from real, like, now I have to go outside and be in the sun for a little bit, or go for a walk, or like, start the day this way. It's all just programming yourself to trick your brain. Were you ever suicidal? Yeah, all the time. But I can't, because I got a mom and a sister and like, a family, so like, I've always been suicidal, but I've never had like, the balls, which I'm very uh, lucky. Is looking in the mirror hard? Yeah, I, I don't like how I look. I fucking freak out. Uh, I don't have mirrors in my house. No mirrors? No, it just doesn't, it doesn't work for me. How do you stop running from yourself? Because you can't live in a world with no mirrors, right? That's something I have to work on. I have to, I'm definitely working on uh, trying to love myself more and be less insecure. And uh, I'm doing a lot of DBT therapy. It's pretty much for people that have like mental illness uh, and it teaches you steps and ways uh, to combat uh, like depressive feelings and shit like that. And it's super helpful. So if you guys ever need help, you should check out DBT and CBT, which is cognitive, cognitive behavior, behavior therapy. therapy. I do CBT. Sometimes it's just sitting there and just talking, but like it's, you know, it's, it's always been helpful to me. It's like steps to like thought processing. Like right. you have this thought, you have these feelings, you have these urges, you're gonna freak out. Try waiting it out 10 minutes. Right. Try going for a walk. How do you know when it's time to, to go get help? Like, okay, I'm doing too much. When shit gets like, just, when it just gets a little insurmountable, or like people are like, hey. My friends will tell me now. We're at a point where like people will come over and be like, hey, we're all like worried, so you should go. I got, I got a good group around me where they, they give a fuck. I'm all for like all the awareness and you know anything I can do to help for sure. There's a lot of people that have it. It's like a sledgehammer to the legs. It's mm -hmm. really hard to get out of bed. So like, if it can help anybody, I'm all for it, always. You think you've ever hit rock bottom? Oh yeah, I hit it all the time. My rock bottom yeah. is when like uh, people are scared of my life and I have to go away and then I have to bring myself back up again. So like, I think I've hit it a few times and uh, you know, as long as you're around good supportive people, you should be able to, you know, and if you're strong enough, you'll be able to get out of it. You've had a hard time sharing all the parts of yourself in relationships? No, I share too much. And mm. I scare the fucking shit out of people. Uh, Cause I have like a lot of issues and stuff. And I, I like to be very upfront about that. So there's no like surprises. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want you to be surprised. Like if I like, uh, you know, have to go away to a rehab or like if I have to go to like certain therapy or something like that. Cause you know, it just like breaks the ice easier. And like, I don't want to waste your fucking time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, I think like I come across very like intense and like I think that scares a lot of people away. Everybody has an opinion on Pete Davidson and what's good for Pete Davidson. Right. What does Pete Davidson think is good for him? I think right now, staying on track, trying to, you know, not focus on relationships or the media or anything like that. I think just, you know, doing what I'm doing, just trying to keep your head down, keep working, and hopefully people see the work. Mm -hmm. I think, I think uh, actions speak louder than words. I feel like I'm in a good place right now. What does that mean? I'm just really looking forward to like uh, doing cool stuff with a lot of my friends. I have a lot of cool stuff coming out and we're working on stuff. So it's just nice to be in a place where that's the focus and not like, uh, you know, anything else.